bees are like alchemists who go out into nature and collect the raw materials, bring it back into the lab and transmute it into golden honey, just like lead into gold. Such as the black crow or raven, the king and the queen, the flask being heated, the oruberos, various birds, the peacock's tail, Mercury with Caduceus, a variety of animals and dragons, the green lion, the sun and moon. The first stage of initiation into the mysteries was always associated with water. Water was considered purifying, as we're cleansing the herb and literally giving it a baptism, if you will prepare it for its next stage. He sent down man, a mortal creature, made in the image of an immortal being, to be an embellishment of the divine body. It means to purge the lead, which is a dense, heavy, impure metal, and reduce it to its quintessence. In other words, to reduce it to its basic components, that which it originally made it, and from that, to perfect it. It's a magical process. And Athenor was a, a alchemical apparatus which was used for distillation among other things which allowed these essences to be captured at the highest pinnacle. And oftentimes alchemical texts depicted them as a temple or as a church steeple in which they prayed at. It appears to portray transformations of the elements through the battle of a dragon and an eagle, which is being overcome by the Mercury figure. When this stage occurred, the herb was no longer associated with just an herb that took on the new alchemical name of the Kaput Mortem. The process unfolds gradually as Kaput It's a process change. in which the mind and the observations of the metal worker maintain an important role. And let's talk for a moment about the mercury. mercury. You can bring the herb back to life in a new, more potent, glorious form all removed. For it is man's function to contemplate the works of God, and for this purpose he was made, that he might view the universe with wondering awe and come to know its maker. Matter in its various forms is seen to have become change, but it is wished for, understood, unique, and effective. This next stage was associated with air because, as is very clear, the liquid as it turns into that steam is a form of air itself. In the alchemical text, the stage was usually represented by birds or vultures sometimes crows picking at, at corpses, picking out the heart and vital organs of the corpse itself, and then flying to the highest pinnacle of a Athen or a tower. A good example of this is the Pretiosissum Donald, the most precious gift of God. How mysterious and powerful
But the question really is how those four elements relate to the fifth element. Also in the Tibetan texts, Buddhist texts, you see it referred to as man. This is why, in, for example, the Tibetan Buddhist chant Om Mani Padme Pum, it refers to the Mani or the white stone hidden within the lotus. So we have we have captured the mercury and the sulfur. There is one final element that we need to capture though, which is called the salts of the earth. And ultimately it was believed that the salts, the sulfur, and the mercury can be recombined in order to form a perfect stone. To this what was known as the bend, which meant both truth and stone in Hebrew. And the Ma'at Ben was in fact the truth of the stone or the truth of light. If you take this word of Ben and 
put it backwards, you get the word neb, which is the Egyptian word for gold.